What's up everyone? This is version two of my Dell Optiplex computer mod. Since then I had added a keyboard and a screen. So now this computer is essentially a full mobile computing gaming device. It's not a desktop, it's not a laptop, it's a mobile gaming computing device. To recap on the specs, it started off as a Dell Optiplex 3070 it's got an Intel i3-9100T. Since then, I have upgraded to a copper heat sink, a different style blower fan, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a Team Group SSD, and this Radeon RX 6400. I upgraded the power supply. It's still a Pico power supply. It's just a wide range voltage version. So now I could utilize a single Dell 130 watt charger to power the graphics card, the motherboard, and the display. The display I'm using is a 12 inch 1080p 60 hertz display and that is getting 12 volt power from the Pico power supply and using a ribbon cable HDMI cable. At the back of the display is being mounted by these plastic hinges, 3D printed brackets, and here is that ribbon HDMI cable, my singular power supply cable, on these external displays, your I.O. sits here, so that means the board for the display sits about here. Since then, I had to remove the board and relocate it to about in this position to accommodate for the ribbon cable and the power supply cable coming up to the monitor. The keyboard is a low-profile Bluetooth keyboard that is being held in place by these 3D printed bracket sliders. The RX 6400 is running on the latest AMD drivers 24.7.1 and the RX 6400 has 4 gigs of RAM and there's our CPU, the 9100T. Here is 2016's Doom running in 1080p Ultra and up in the corner in this area I'm getting about 100 frames a second. So, thanks for watching version 2 on my Dell Optiplex. This has been a fun computer to kind of mod and mess around with. Uh, it's come a long way from the average 3070 Optiplex. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the video as I've enjoyed making this gaming machine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.